Hello and welcome to Leap View. You know that show that brings you big leap takers and shift makers. I'm your host, Biljana Karamehmedovic, and my guest today is Ms. Sanela Haji Hasanovic. And you can sense already from the last name how it sounds that that's my amazing countrywoman, Bosnian powerhouse. Sanela, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Greatly appreciate you for having me. Um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to uh, everyone who is tuning in. And uh, wherever you're coming in from, I'm hoping we're going to have a great time today. And uh, you're in for a treat. We definitely are in for a great time, for sure. We tested it a few days ago in Dallas. And it was really, really enjoyable time that we had. I loved it myself. And that is one of the reason I invited you to this show so I can share share what you do and uh, how you kind of improve, make this world better, how you make difference so our viewers can actually really get the sense of why I love you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the feeling is definitely mutual. Um, I greatly appreciate you and your daughter. I had a pleasure meeting your daughter. She's just a fantastic young lady. And um, for everyone who he didn't have a chance to uh, meet with uh, Dr. Villano's daughter, you're definitely missing out. So you have to invite her at least for a cup of coffee. Just a <laughs> phenomenal people to be around. And uh, I'm definitely grateful for the time that we spent together in uh, Dallas, Texas. <laughs> so we are. So we are. And we are hoping for more opportunities until we have that videos is a uh, video is the next best thing so Sanella please share with our audience what you do and who you are how do you kind of make a difference in the world few words on that side so we can really start the beautiful juicy conversation on that topic I uh, absolutely love the juicy stuff coming up. Um, uh, joking all aside, um, as I said, I greatly appreciate um, everyone who's tuning in with us to uh, today to uh, share a little bit about um, who we are and what we do. And I appreciate this opportunity um, for the next two and a half hours. Let me just tell you a short story about <laughs> who I am, where I come from. Um, my name is uh, Sanella. Last name is uh, very long and I do come from somewhere over there from beautiful country called Bosnia Herzegovina and I uh, immigrated to United States at the age of 19 and um, I, I'm not fresh off the boat and I'm not really fresh off the plane and sometimes he was like how did you get here I'm like well I flew <laughs> um, on a more serious note um, I sincerely hope and wish that everyone who is uh, joining us today is uh, remembering Bosnia in Sarajevo with the beautiful pictures of the 14th Winter Olympic Games um, that were held back in 1984 and um, all the beautiful things that you know the Balkans in general have to offer and not only remembering uh, of the dark 90s that unfortunately happened in that entire area and that was a result of me um, immigrating to United States originally I uh, yes I am a refugee from Bosnia and I really, truly, honestly want to take this opportunity to say uh, thank you to all our men and women in uniform. And when I say that, I, I truly mean it. I'm not just saying it. So um, thank you, because Absolutely. probably if it wasn't for them, um, you and I would not be having this conversation. So I am forever grateful. And um, mm -hmm. even though I, I do absolutely believe that we live uh, now in the greatest country on earth, that's my personal experience and that's my personal opinion. So um, everything I'm going to share with um, all of you today is going to be uh, from my personal experiences. And I'm hoping that I'm going to bring a little bit of um, courage, a little bit of enlightenment, a little bit of a, of a light to all of us all across the globe to never give up hope. And definitely, definitely you're an inspiration. You're an inspiration to me and so many others. As we, as we really had to overcome a lot, not unlike few, but like millions upon millions that actually came to this side of the ocean to find a better life, to, to find opportunities that are unparalleled anywhere in the world. On that Absolutely. note, on that note, I recognize in my show people that not only inspire me, but the people that I see taking leap after leap 
in their growth, in their development, in their, doesn't matter, businesses, careers, jobs, it doesn't matter. But personally, they are taking enormous leaps of faith to upgrade their, let me say, operating system <laughs> to serve the world on the higher level. So tell me a little bit uh, about how do you serve through your business, through your volunteer volunteerism, through, and I will leave it for you to say through your show. Yes, absolutely. Um, and and as, as many of you might be able to relate, and, and uh, I know Dr. Bidana does relate, it's, um, there's one thing that I absolutely have to share with everyone, and, and that is when we're talking about the leap of faith, um, it is hard to accept it, but once we do accept the fact that our past has absolutely nothing to do with our present and our future. So it doesn't matter where we've been in the past. What matters is where we want to go in the future. That's what the what what my my true inspiration comes from. Uh, many of my mentors who say, "Look, what happened yesterday? It already happened, and it's and, over. And there's nothing we can do about it to bring it back." Yep. Uh, oftentimes we dwell on it, say, oh, if this, if that. Well, here's the answer, my dear friends and family. No, just it's it gone. happened yesterday. And uh, we all have 24 hours in a day. And once the midnight hit, 12 o'clock midnight, that's it. We can't buy an extra hour. That would be great, right? <laughs> because yes. we all want more time. We all want more time. And we just turn around and say, Oh my God, I've been on this planet Earth. We're all visitors, by the way. This is on the site now. Yes. I've been on this planet Earth for um, so long. And I turn around and say, oh my God, but how did this happen? It happens to all of us. It's called life. Life happens to every single one of us, every single day, 24 hours a day. Absolutely. And... It is not asking us whether we like it or whether we agree with it. It just happens. And how we actually um, act upon things that come in our life on a daily basis is what makes a difference. And um, I probably want to say that I'm a, I'm a, I'm a learner. I, I'm a work in progress every day. <laughs> every day. I think that's, that's what we have really the most in common, knowing that we are work in progress all the time. And uh, there is no other way, because if, if you think about it, not to believe that, that there is better and it's coming your way, that would be uh, probably a little insane. And um, as, um, as one of the, one of the greatest uh, mentors, you know, in my life, uh, great late Mr. J uh, Jim Rome said, just don't sign up for the, for the class. Why? Because exactly. the day comes after night, the winter comes after fall and it just the way it is. And um, that's one of the things that, that I want, I, I believe is, is hardest for people to actually grasp. And it was hardest for me to grasp. It has to do, it has to do a lot with acceptance. Mm -hmm. We all think we are once in control. Mm -hmm. And we try, we try so hard to be and stay in control without actually really realizing that there are things that are out of our control as long as we try to control them. But Absolutely. the moment we surround, the moment we really surrender to the to the fact that yeah, that's life. Those are the cycles, and who am I in the cycle actually gives me the best control, isn't it? Absolutely, Ac full and radical acceptance. <laughs> and um, that is actually uh, tying into your um, question that that you asked. Um, how do I, as an individual? Um, try to do my best to um, serve one or many and uh, through, through my radio station uh, called uh, Radio Copia and um, you know we'll provide you with with the link so you can um, check it out. Definitely. Definitely. Absolutely 
And um, that's how the idea actually was born to um, my partner and I. Um, he's a great guy. You're definitely going to love him. Uh, we came up with the idea of um, one person at a time. And that was not a new idea. We didn't reinvent the wheel. Of course. But then when you take a look, one step backwards and say, what do you mean by one person at a time? How can you possibly change someone's life for better through some radio station? And um, that's where that's where this the, the synergy, the energy, the the wish and, and and hopefulness to help and inspire people for just one person at a time, and not necessarily that we're able or capable of changing someone's life and you know keeping motivated 24 7 nobody can do that for us because let's face it nothing is 100 percent even though that's a cliche that is used every day in every day's life in business in careers family and relationships and health every once in a blue moon you do pick up a chip you do pick up a, a, a soda and, and things of that nature so it, it, we're humans. At the end of the day, that's what it comes down to. We're all human beings. Absolutely. On this journey called life. And the best we can do is the best we can do. And, and the that's idea, good enough. It's best we can do. That's absolutely. what I love about it. And, and um, I love the, the, the fact that, um, whether it's a fact, whether it's acceptance, uh, acknowledgement that, you as an individual can only do the best personally to be the best version of yourself. And that is the change that we bring and, and contribute to the world. We cannot change anybody or anything else outside of us, but the changing insight, change, kind of accepting and, and bringing the change within we actually do change things outside. Absolutely. So the best absolutely is the best catalyst for that. And then a lot of times um, it's like, oh my God, I, I, I want these grandiose things for other people because I thrive in other people's success and whatever the success is. Don't, please don't, don't get me wrong that uh, sometimes people think having a big house. It's a and personal and definition that counts. Success is a personal, absolutely individual vision of whatever the success is in your case. Absolutely. Whether, whether it's, um, um, to uh, lose 20 pounds is like what success for you is for me it's to lose 20 pounds and, and, and keep a healthy lifestyle that is success um, for me the success will be to uh, uh, get a, a bachelor's degree or, or an MBA degree for me the success would be to go serve in the mission in Africa to help children who don't have running water. so whatever level of success people deem for themselves to be level of success that is their level of that is success Absolutely. But it, start, it starts with us mm -hmm. and um the the idea of how to change one person at the time with only one minute at the time and uh, it sounds when you're thinking about what when you grasp is like that's kind of crazy and insane <laughs> and everything um, starts and, with one and and we laughed and i uh, said look um this is how we're going to serve people who tune in into our radio station um our radio station is 24 7 uh we're internet radio station we stream 24 hours a day in uh, Balkan region languages from Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia, Serbia, Montenegro, Macedonia. And uh, we say, well, we're gonna just take a local example of from where we live currently in Southern California. And uh, for all of you who may not know, Southern California has um, horrendous traffic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> 
and, and, and we said, well, ha. <sighs> Often, sometimes, and, and, I, and I'm sure we all been there, and uh, it will happen if we if it didn't happen now, until now. Sometimes we have the the world is crumbling, and we feel helpless, and we have no way out. We don't see the light at the end of the tunnel, because it just all these circumstances that happen in, at the same time. And they usually happen all at the same time. Yes. And then they come from the left, from the right, up and top, from all possible, any possible sides. You were like, oh, I had no idea that this could hit me from that side too. Yes, definitely. And um, imagine yourself on uh, a major freeway anywhere in the United States or anywhere in the world for that matter. Pretty much anywhere. And it is literally pouring cats and dogs. It is raining hard. It is raining hard. And you are behind your steering wheel, between the exits, because you cannot go back, you cannot go forward, because traffic is at a full stop. It is pouring cats and dogs. And your phone rings. And hopefully you're on a Bluetooth, so you're not <laughs> picking up the phone. And you answer the phone, and there's this frantic call from your daughter's who's in second grade, from her teacher screaming and yelling at the top of her lungs saying, oh my God, your little princess who's eight years old was in a fight. And you, you, your blood just drops. You're like, my daughter, my little baby, my little angel, she's never done, she is not that type of kid. And she was in a fight. And she pulled the other girl's hair and punched her in the nose. The other kid is bleeding. Oh, my God, it's the end of the world. And you just freeze. Remember, it's still pouring cats and dogs. And you cannot move. You cannot go over the cars. You cannot get out of the car to run to the school that is three miles away. And um, teacher is frantic. You're becoming very uneasy at this moment because the one thing on your mind is, oh, my God. Where is my child? What is happening with my child? And you just eliminate the rest of this noise that the teacher is screaming and yelling on the phone. And your heart is, is getting uh, uh, into this sort of like attraction. It's like, oh my God. And it starts beating faster and faster. And then you start flushing and you're like, okay, this is not a good sign. It's still pouring cats and dogs. And you said, okay, I am on my way. I will be there as soon as possible. That's an emergency. You hang up the phone and that car still didn't move. And you still cannot move. But you're internalizing everything that the teacher was telling you, bits and pieces. But the only one thing on your mind is, where is your daughter? Where's your little angel? And you are in disbelief that she could have ever, ever in your life punch another kid and have their nose bleed and then the phone rings again and you're like oh my god not again do I pick it up and then you see it's actually your sons who's in junior high who's 13 years old actually it's his principal's office calling and if you if you may not relate if you don't have a children I'll just give you an example but just imagine and put yourself in this parent's shoes and you pick up the phone and it's still pouring cats and dogs and you're not moving because the freeway is at the dead stop. And the principal of your son's 13 year old junior high school says, oh my God, this is the end of the world. Your son who is the greatest child in our school, who's on, on an honors roll, who has a you know, straight A student, who participates on extracurricular activities, who's a great leader, uh, plays sports, was caught smoking pot or weed or marijuana in the back of the school with some other kids who are bad kids. <gasps> no, your world is now definitely ending. You just don't understand how is this possible? You can take any situation, but this cannot happen. Now you totally lost it, but you never had a control over that first phone call and the outcome of the phone call. He never, ever had a control of that second. 
phone call and the outcome and the results what happened and transpired in that conversation and you're helpless and then you hang up and say i'm on my way and then you hang up and say oh my god but in the meantime you completely forgot that you had a horrible day at work because your boss who had God knows his or her reasons that were happening the night before that came to work and completely made a havoc at work and literally made hell for you that the entire day. And you were finally figuring out how to get over it and take it out of your mind. And then these two phone calls came in and you're still sitting on the freeway, pouring cats and dogs and there's nothing you can move forward. You cannot move backwards. You're just sitting there. It's, it's pouring cats and dogs. And now you're mourning that you had this, horrible time experiencing all those feelings came all together it's still pouring cats and dogs how do you feel what do you feel you feel helpless you feel anger you feel that you want to scream and, and get out and just just yell and, and, and let it all out but it's still not going to change any of the circumstances that you found yourself at that moment. And the icing on the cake, your phone rings again. And oh my God, you look it up and it's your husband. If you have a husband, significant other. And you're like, okay, this person, whether it's a, a, a husband or a wife, a significant other, a sister or brother, this person who is, um, giving you the hope and they're going to make it all go away and you pick up the phone and you say oh honey the world is ending and it's pouring cats and dogs i'm in the middle of this our daughter's being in a fight she you know she hit another girl it's like well what what and our son was caught smoking pot with other kids the principal just called me i'm stuck on the freeway it's pouring cats and dogs and my boss was really really mean i had a horrible day i don't know what to do and i can't move please make it go away it's like honey honey don't worry it's, it's like honey Oh my God, it, 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 it's all going to be okay. So, okay. So how's your day? What do you call me? D don't worry. Why'd you call me? Because you usually don't call at this hour. What's going on? Every honey, tell me what's going on. I just got fired. And then the world ended. And it's still pouring cats and dogs. The world begun. At that moment, for most people, world really ended. We, you know, the, the spouse lost the job. What are we gonna do now? The kids are in big trouble. I'm in big trouble. He's in big trouble. The whole world is in big, it's still pouring cats and dogs and you can't move. You're on that freeway. You may want to, um, relate this story in a, a, a different circumstances that happened to all of us at one point in our life and there is absolutely nothing that you as an individual can do at that moment because guess what you are not in control of the weather that is actually pouring cats and dogs. You are not in control and you cannot control the traffic that you're in the middle of that freeway and you cannot move forward or go backwards. You cannot control the fact that whatever happened in the school with your daughter or your son, whatever happened at work with your spouse or yourself, you cannot control that. And you never could. And people say, but how? It's not about the how. All the how-tos are there. All the how-tos are everywhere. We all we live in information age. Information are everywhere. It's beautiful. It's, you know, the knowledge and information. Everything is available. So what can I, as an individual, do? I said, okay. In this traumatic experience at the moment, in, in the turmoil of emotions, in the turmoil of feelings, that are happening in your head, in your heart, in your soul. I say, well, maybe there is a little tiny light at the end of the tunnel. And you simply tap the app on your phone and turn that little radio station 
and there's this person or persons telling you this really funny joke about two people getting stuck in the elevator and the elevator stops and, and one of them says, oh my God, help, help. And, and the other one says, oh my God, we're going to do this together. And, and, and the other one says, together, together. And you're like, oh my God, no, we need to call for help together. And then you laugh for 10 seconds. And that was the idea of us getting in hopefully um, reaching out to that one person at the time for 10 seconds or just one minute where they're going to put back the energy and the, the, the feeling and the hope that it all shall pass and it will work itself out because it is not your duty to be in control because you cannot control the whole world. And you but were at least, made to be in control of everything. Absolutely. But, absolutely. but, but our hope was at least that we had made those few short seconds of your life actually and give you that punch of resetting. And, and, that's, then, and that's huge. And that's because huge because that, we all need ability or help or any way to call back on ourselves at any absolutely. moment and in that in that light i see the having something like this like your radio show something so profound to help people get back to themselves to their true real self no matter what the situation is my my personal experience with the radio and with all these shows and interviews that i am recording and hosting it is that if we don't talk about it who will be knowing about it who will be helped so we have to spread the knowledge share the the ideas share availability that you are not alone we are here if we can help with something we are here and this is how you can reach us you don't have to say anything you listen Absolutely. hear Absolutely. us and then Absolutely. spread it later share it with somebody else be there for somebody else in your own authentic way so with radio copia i love to translate it into radio gateway <laughs> <laughs> So the yeah, literal, and, yeah, the literal, the literal translation uh, into English is a radio gate, and yes. the reason it is, is a radio gate, it's it's basically because we said we're going to keep the gate open. Absolutely, every, everybody is welcome. The door or the gate will always remain open, but it is entirely up to you as an individual and person to decide whether you want to keep the door open or you want to shut the door all on the end to go through it right? and at, at the at the Absolutely. end of the day is it comes down to ultimately every single one of us to uh, make a decision and whatever decision we make if we make a decision to turn left it's a decision that we're turning left if we make a decision to turn right it's still a decision that we make. and we all make decisions every day all the time and that's okay not saying it's a right decision to make a left or the wrong decision to make right no it's still a decision, decision. absolutely and once we once you grasp the fact that asking for help is not a weakness you have to understand that asking for help is actually a strength and once we all realize that we don't have to go through these pouring cats and dogs every day stuck on the freeway having these traumatic experiences in our life with our children and our family and our businesses and our careers and our life 
but reaching out and asking for help is a strength so you understand that you're not alone and it's completely a natural part of who we are we are made to not only communicate but to support and help each other absolutely that is absolutely ingrained in our dna the life is coded with necessity for communication and uh, service and cooperation i would say on that note i don't not i want to invite you to share another as aspect of your business i want you to tell our our uh, audience what is the value that you're bringing in your legal shield business because as a um, let me have you tell about it. Uh, does it go through franchising or explain a little bit to, to our viewers how you actually bring it, bring it to the table in lieu of um, versus going alone and looking for everything, how you can help people actually have that network. Ready Absolutely. To help. Absolutely. And um, it, it is, uh, it is pretty much tied to um, everyday life. Um, I am an independent business owner. Um, I own and operate full um, service agency with a company called Legal Shield. And what is um, inspiring in, in, in my true experience and, and belief um, with, with this company is we absolutely are changing lives every day and we are absolutely saving many lives every day. And it is not even as much of, of what Legal Shield does. Um, I'll, I'll share with everybody, you know, in a nutshell, what we do. But um, why I personally um, got involved with this company um, many years ago, um, I was I was offered services uh, called prepaid legal services back in uh, 2005, about almost 15 years ago, and uh, I was introduced um, through our services through employee benefits where um, the gentleman came to our office and said, um, here you can have entire uh, law firm in the palm of your hand on your phone and you can call at any time about any possible, any possible matter that you may have a question about. And a lot of times, you know, um, North Americans, the United States, Canada, and now in, we're in the UK, um, the judicial and legal systems are a um, little bit, not a little bit out of, out of reach, but to be candid and frankly, um, pretty much every, day, out of reach. every day Americans and, and Canadians and, and, and uh, you know, British and the entire UK, we're priced out of the system. Mm -hmm. And that's where the big problem is. Um, I say, hey, I'm a good law abiding citizen. I never got in trouble with law. I don't break the law. I follow the rules. Why would I need a lawyer who charges X amount of money for their services without understanding the value that actually those same attorneys and lawyers actually bring to the table? And I, I didn't understand it at first. I well, why would I need that? Because I don't break the law. <clears throat> without understanding that we don't necessarily have to break the law to utilize attorneys because attorneys can actually help us navigate through that law that happens to us every day from small, trivial to big things. And I said, oh, I had no idea that could possibly be a legal issue. <laughs> and, um, I said, okay, well, um, I will make sure that I, I have this service and just in case. And it turns out to be that, that just in case is actually everyday life events that happen to all of us. And it just happened to me two days ago. <laughs> uh, one of the, um, I'm not going to say uh, the company, but uh, Rise with Print, right? <laughs> I did something that was unethical and did something that was uh, not right. Us as consumers every day, we go through life that big companies um, do take advantage of us. And because we believe that we're helpless and we don't, we have to check our pocketbook before we check our legal rights, um, we opt out and say, I'm gonna go on social media and just tell everybody what happened. 
but that does not resolve or solve that doesn't problem. do anything <laughs> it does solve our issue whatever the whether it's small whether it's big and they said because we opened up a new line and uh, transferred uh, one of the phone numbers from a different carrier and they said okay great well as a thank you for becoming our our customer now now we're going to give you this gift and we're like oh that's pretty cool you know this company is really great because they're giving it as a gift because we became their customers they're showing their appreciation yay bravo makes you feel good and here's a gift uh which is uh, a speaker nice speaker that you can use for the surround system at the house so it's like okay and that's a thank you for bringing your phone number from another carrier to us not a big deal great it wasn't until the bill came in <laughs> two weeks later where they actually charge us hundred dollars for that gift <laughs> mm -hmm. and i said what do you mean it's a gift and um no problem called the company and said what do we do because we're not paying for the gift we gladly return it because we never needed it we took it because it was a gift and uh went back to the store and said hey here's your gift back and um make sure you reverse my charges because this is what the your corporate actually uh, instructed us to do and the gentleman was like oh it's been more than 14 days we're not taking it back that's it with that kind of attitude and you're thinking i'm a consumer I'm your customer. I am paying you a lot of money for their services. I should get a little bit of a better treatment. Mm -hmm. But you're still a hundred bucks out of pocket with a speaker that you never wanted in the first place. You just took it because it was a gift. I said, okay, no problem. What do you do? You go into social media, you tell your cousin, you tell your neighbor, you tell your friend, oh my God, this, this is not fair. And it's just not right. So anytime you find yourself in situation or in the moment you say, this is not right. That's what legal shield fixes. That's what we do. It is not about these grandiose attorneys and lawyers and things that people are thinking about getting into legal trouble. None of that stuff. Anytime anybody find themselves in that predicament or a, a situation where they feel this is not right it doesn't sound right it doesn't feel right that's what we do you tap the app on your phone there is an app and you say call your law firm because you can without worrying about paying high hourly costs and the result of that um us leaving the store was immediately i literally pressed the phone uh, button on my on my app and um, I was uh, advised by my attorney what to say, who to call, and how to say it. A lot of times, you know, when emotions get involved, that, like, that makes a huge difference. Yeah, especially I, I, with the emotion involved. Yeah, in that. <laughs> because this is not right. And, and then you know, you might you might be emotional, and you raise your voice, and they say, "Nobody needs that kind of treatment," and they just kick you out. I said, no problem. They say, okay, a lot of times it's not what attorneys, I don't know what attorneys do. I don't know what they, I, I know results. I just know results. And that is, I feel good. <laughs> and the justice is served, right? And so my next phone call actually went to the corporate of the company that runs the print. And, uh, and uh, said, simply, I was advised by my attorney, ladies and gentlemen. Within a total of six minutes and 34 seconds, that's how long because I saw it on my phone, this unethical um, and, and really bad way of doing business and the harm that was actually done uh, was resolved within six minutes and 34 seconds. And that's the power of the empowerment. And that is what we do. We empower people, everyday, regular Americans, Canadians, and people from UK with our service of just tapping the app and having the sound advice, not necessarily saying that attorneys can change the law, no, but they can certainly help us a lot to navigate through to know what our next step will be. And that's the power of, of empowering um, people without having to worry about the high hourly cost, without having to worry about 
whether I can afford to um, just ask a question, if and nothing else. Empowering. Just to have somebody that you can, Absolutely. that you can confidently ask the question is, defi is definitely extremely helpful. Knowing yes. you're not alone absolutely has its own merit, even without capability to ask questions immediately. And Absolutely. add that on top, I completely understand it. And love, love, love that you are involved with that for so long. That really speaks volume to me about all that you do and everything that is presented. And in the wrap-up note, tell me how do people go about reaching you and having a conversation one-on-one -on -one with you about all this? <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. And um, I want to say I, I greatly appreciate every single one of you who joined us on, on this uh, beautiful broadcast. Um, and uh, Dr. B, I, I absolutely love, love, love your work and, and everything that you're doing in um, reaching out to bettering one person at a time every day and, and making this world a better place because I personally believe there's there's always, there is more good in every single Absolutely. one of us than, than bad. Way. But be aware, and it's just the truth, there's probably about nine or ten nasty, miserable people in this whole world. But, and they move around a lot, as Jim Rohn says, and we're bound to bump into one of them every once in a while. But also keep in mind, there's seven and a half billion people in this world Absolutely. so it has to be more good than bad and it's not that you know sometimes bad things happen to good people it's just the fact and sometimes people good people do bad things it's just called life but you have to understand you ha you don't have to go through life alone you don't have to go through life by yourself. There is Dr. B. There is this little radio station. There is this service called Legal Shield. There is, there is your next door neighbor who, there, there's, there's a tremendous amount of resources and support and energy. All you do is just open your mouth and say, how do you go about this? And there is an internet thing, right? And <laughs> we are here. It's beautiful. At the <laughs> press of a finger, at the, right? At the, at the tap of and your, of your that button. That is that is the beauty of this level of communication that we can really connect, Absolutely. regardless of where we are in the world. Absolutely. And the beauty of beauty of um, access to this kind of sophisticated te technology turned into really something positive something that helps humanity for me it's a miracle itself because Absolutely. because making it this way and blurring the border blurring the distance blurring the differences actually really really serves as one thing to recognize each other and to recognize how much we have in common regardless where we are coming from and yeah. even regardless of where we are going but it seems we are going finally in the same direction yes. of making a world better place and yes. in that light i thank you i love your work i appreciate you, you. being on this show and thank you. Let's take a minute for your uh, wrap up and few words on the end. Absolutely, greatly appreciate um, your time and, and thank you for allowing me to share uh, my little journey with uh, with everybody. Is as I said, the door is always open, and uh, everybody and everyone is always welcome. Um, you can um, easily find our radio station. You may not necessarily understand the lyrics and the words, but you might appreciate the music and the tunes and the energy that comes out of uh, our uh, programming and our broadcasting. It is uh, radiocopia.com, and it's spelled radio as a radio, and the word is spelled K as in King, A, P as in Paul, I, J, A, radiocopia.com. Um, you can find us 24 hours um, a day. You can find us on Facebook as well as all other social media plugins from Instagram, uh, YouTube. We're also on, on LinkedIn on my personal note, and you can always reach out to me. Um, uh, my work is public. I am an open book and uh, anything and everything that you need to ask, you want to ask, you want to know, please 
I am pleading you to uh, reach out. Um, you can text me, call me, email me, messenger me, uh, messenger me on Facebook, whether uh, or um, even maybe on LinkedIn. Um, Sana Lahaj Hasanovich, that's hard to spell, but we're going to get there. Uh, the, name, the links will be below the video, so no problems. The, the way to contact and communicate will be provided. Absolutely. And uh, you can easily visit my uh, personal uh, website for my Legal Shield agency. It is www.sanela.net. It's S A N E L A.net. And um, you'll have a, a better idea in uh, information, a little bit more about details. And then again, as I said, my, my uh, contact information are always available um, to uh, public, to people who um, might, you know, need a, a little tiny um, light at the end of the tunnel. I'm here to serve. I'm here to uh, do the best I can. Okay. And uh, one step at a time, one person at a time, we are making a better world. So I greatly appreciate um, your time. And uh, Dr. Vilena, thank you so much for this opportunity. My pleasure. To share my pleasure, you. my honor to host you here. And I'm looking forward for any new development that comes so I can invite you and have you in the, in the show again. So thank Likewise. you for coming. You have a blessed day and let's rock the world, make it a better place the best way we can. Likewise. Thank you. I'm your host, Diliana Karamehmedovic, and you just watched the live view with Sanela Haji Hasanovic as my guest. Looking forward to next one. For now, Diliana is signing off. Thank you. <laughs>